Ho, 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 yay. Ho, 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 yay. Nobody. Welcome to the Dynamax Barking Hang One on. Podcast. Hang on. Uh, there's oh. another. There's another. There's another part to the rhythm. Oh. Oh. Oh my. <laughs> Well, there goes our windows. The fact, the, fact you, the, the fact that you did it to the beat's hilarious. Yeah. Yeah, like how many, like how much Cynthia slander caused that? Wait, 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 wait. Uh, well, you know that there had to have been a Charizard mentioned in there. Roy, you got the beat? That's, that's one of the funniest things ever. I'll get to you got the beat? Yeah. So yeah, that's gotta become a meme. It does. You got, you got the beat. You got the beat. <laughs> Welcome to the sparkling number one podcast on YouTube. And that's not an opinion, that's a fact. It's like, too bad it's it's shit a, twice a day. Too bad it's not a sparking zero. Too bad we don't have infinite wealth either. Yeah, we have fine uh -huh. wealth though. Damn it, Isaiah, if you keep bringing up Ryan's lack of infinite wealth, I will call you the worst thing a Hey Arnold fan can ever be called. What are you talking yeah, that's about? What I, yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> well, you're not sure. going to elaborate on that? <laughs> no, I said now, I will call best. him the worst... I said I will call him the worst thing a Hey Arnold fan can be called. Yeah, and what, what would that be? I can't say it. If I say it, then Jeff will gasp. Boy, oh, Jeff, I mean, that like sounds it's funny. So, it's, it's, it, is, it is so heinous that Jeff will never be able to look at me again if I say it. That's how oh. bad it is. Huh. But give me impressions on the new game, Ryan. Uh, it's overwhelming in a good way. Ooh. It's like it's easily the biggest game they've made. Oh, nice. That says a lot, because Yakuza 5 is huge. And that's overwhelming in a bad way. What? Overwhelming and... Mm, interesting. Yeah, no, there's... There's a lot, there's a lot to it. And... Mm -hmm. It's... It's just a lot of fun. It's kind of neat having a game set in another country. Because usually it's just been in Japan this whole time. Oh, where's this one set at? Uh, the U.S. and Hawaii. Oh, uh, okay. Nice. Interesting. Yeah. I hear it's an RPG, too. Is that right? Yeah, it's the second turn-based game they've done. Okay, uh -oh. you make, okay, you're making me just want to skip to this. I, I don't. How we got don't. <laughs> <laughs> right, I love RPGs. You no, know, you, you can make a but... case at yeah. starting with seven. But n you can't start with infinite wealth. Wait, it's a it it's really? a direct sequel to it. Pain. I'm still is gonna finish really? Zero though. When I get my really? Xbox Live back. I think that's what's is going. It is it really that overwhelming, right? Yeah. It kind of it just throws a bunch of content at you at once. Like, mm. And it how long does it hold you hostage? Uh, 23 hours so far. <laughs> Jesus. No, 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 how long does it hold you hostage with tutorials? Oh, um, I mean, the first chapter runs kind of long. It's not a lot of tutorials, though. Perhaps. You know, there's also, like, a lot of little things they added with the combat that makes it a lot better. Because in the, the first time they did a turn-based, you couldn't really move around. And there was a lot of attacks that, where your position really mattered. So now you can actually line yourself up properly, mm -hmm. which is good. Oh, cool. Glad yeah. they improved it. That's what sequels should always do. You know, make improvements to every game. Yes. It's a, be uh, a shame uh, if there was a, it'd be a shame if there was a series where, a games where they removed content instead of, you know, improving upon stuff. Luckily, games like that don't exist. Yeah. 
I'm excited to get back into Zero, though. The last place where I stopped was Zero when I had to fight the big oh, guy. yeah. What's his Cruise? name? Cruiser? I had to climb the, the sewer. Yeah, I think so. That was insane. I lost a couple yeah. times. It was so satisfying when I won, though. Like, I just kept slamming him, kneeing him. It felt so satisfying to break a skull in. Uh, I was... It was a glorious Oh, and moment. there's, um, like a little side game in this one that I haven't unlocked yet, but you're basically, like, restoring this island that was originally a resort. So it's just kind of like this Animal Crossing oh, yeah. mode. I remember the one from the trailer. Yeah. Oh, that's... Yeah, I remember. Apparently it's big enough where they could have sold that it separately, but they just didn't. See, we love stuff like that. Got the file size on it. It's gotta be insane. Yeah, it was oh. like... I think it was oh. like 70 or 75 gigabytes. It's kind of crazy. Must have taken 84 years to download, Ryan. I just let it download overnight. <laughs> <laughs> That's how it be sometimes. Yeah. All right, all right. Before we get sidetracked, just quick, everyone, quick thoughts on sparkling, sparking zero. No, wait, 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 wait. One thing before we talk about that, we have to talk about the other Dragon Ball thing. Yeah, isn't that a whole no, section? No, di di um, di Dymo doesn't come out until nine. Not that the Kakarot DLC. Oh yeah, that. it's always nice to see you get acknowledged. I yeah. wish you got better treatment. I really wish you got better treatment. I would say well, someday it'll happen, but no. <laughs> it's too Wait, what the heck was that model right here? Goku had some yellow ass lips here. So... Okay, that one frame did not look good. I don't know why he has yellow lips, but it is going to be pretty interesting to see what they do with this last thing because the end of Z. Is extremely, extremely, extremely short. It is a very, very. I think it's like only two or three chapters in the original manga. Oh, yeah. So, it's gonna be weird for them to adapt it. And I still remember when Udakai Three adapted it, and they just had you play as Oob, fight Goku, beat up his friends, and then had you fight fucking Omega Shenron. What the hell? Oh yeah, yep. Super yeah, just... takes place right before the end of Z, so we're pretty much guaranteed the end of Z in the next arc. <laughs> Looks at <like> Daima. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's like a Wouldn't week Wouldn't it be before. funny if they covered that? <laughs> uh, I did hear them say Daima was going to be covered, so I do think at the very least Goku will have Ultra Instinct ma mastered and what's it called? Vegeta will have Ultra Man. Ego. Do we know when Daima takes place yet? No. It's, it's after Superhero, yes. isn't it? But the, yes. that's like that's like two days from the end of the <laughs> Ryan, that's plenty of time. <laughs> like, a week before the end of Z, this all happened. Remember, that Boo Saga happened in like two days, Ryan. This can Hold totally on. happen. <laughs> <laughs> it's just it's i don't get what's stopping oh. them from just doing something after that i thought end of Z will, the, the mangas are gonna adapt Daima, but they're still dragging out the superhero stuff yeah, yeah we so. gotta see yeah i i no nah, i i don't i don't want to see any more beast form that Form looks ugly outside of the Piccolo. It does. Go on, looks and really. Even in the Piccolo, and, and even and even in the Piccolo Gi, it's still really iffy. I hate the Piccolo Gi, but yeah, I'm super excited to see um, this like thing. I think the DLC will only be an hour long, though. It's really, just the other Z, because realistically, only Goku, Pan, and Ub would be playable. So is this the final DLC for Kakarot? I mean, Probably. I'm pretty I mean, sure. Okay. I mean, there's like... I guess there's that side mission where... Goku, well, not side mission, like... I guess there's the beginning of End of Z where he has a sparring match with Goten. 
So yeah, that yeah, could I be guess. a side mission or something. Uh, I'm thinking about that one team four star thing. It's like, go to the trunks. We're boyfriends! And now I'm thinking about how Super is like, oh yeah, we're like cousins. I'm like, I hate Super so much. I really hate Super. I really, really hate Super. <laughs> Me and Trunks are like cousins. That was never said during Z or GT. What are y'all cooking? I don't know. Just uh, it just feels weird. Oh, but oh, but sure. Uh, pair and ship. Uh, fucking Goten with that uh, that other character who's essentially forty or um, something. Trunks. Trunks. Wait, who? Trunks. Oh, Trunks. Trunks. Oh, okay. Trunks. Oh my she's not, oh and my. she's not 40, she's 60 at least. Oh my goodness. That's worse. Uh, yeah. That's so weird. Yeah. It's weird because you put it in the present day too. Oh dude, it's yeah. even it's even worse. Man, it's even worse in the future trunks timeline. It essentially undermines the dark undertones well not dark over undertones, but dark overtones that I'm turning into a joke. I hate that I hate that uh... knows what I'm talking about. Yeah. Uh... Dark and kinda cool the future trunks timeline story was. What if we made a joke involving the Pilaf gang and Piccolo sacrificing himself for a joke? It's funny, right? You're laughing. I can hear Ryan laughing in the background. He thinks it's hilarious. I legit forgot that happened. That shows how much I care about Super. It's a shame because if they didn't include all that weird stuff and, you know... Goku's character wasn't... Goku's character in that thing is probably the worst I've ever seen. The yeah. only moment I like Goku in the entire arc is when Goku Black is a mouse who says he killed, like, oh. freaking Chi-Chi and Goten, and then Goku becomes beyond pissed. Oh. He just starts yeah. wrecking everybody's shit. Yeah, now he wants to pretend like he cares, even though Bull oh. Bull got here. <laughs> Fuck, oh, I wasn't man. talking about this... Oh, I wasn't talking about the Zamasu thing. I was talking about that stupid thing with the peel off gang in the future. Oh, I know. That, like I said, my <laughs> Dragon Ball is weird to me, so I don't really understand, remember a lot of that. Da, 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 da. Dragon Ball Super is weird to you. Yeah. Separate, keep them separate, Isaiah. I hey, really can't. I'm sorry. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, they keep. It's showing flashbacks and then like actually it's annoying. Oh. But yeah, yeah Dragon Ball Super 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 all this crap. <laughs> I will be main and Krillin and Sparking Zero. Hey. No you won't. Fuck off. Yeah, I'll you're be... getting angry because you know it's true. I'll be main and Krillin, Gohan and Piccolo. Hey, you won't. He'll be alternating 24-7. Ooh, that means we're gonna have Orange Piccolo in this game. Let's go. And that means we're gonna have Beast Gohan. Let's not go. Uh, uh, it's the it's just the the volume of hair. Like what uh, they do it, all that. It's just everything to me because I still don't get how Beast works. Remember when yeah. people said Super Saiyan Rage was the worst thing? Yeah, I get it, because it looks like Super Saiyan Blue with Super Saiyan, but how is Beast any right. better? We don't know. I, even Toriyama doesn't know what it is. That explanation he gave was just me. Like, like, I, like I said, it's literally just that, that one joke from Codename Kids Next Door, that parody episode. You, you That's what the hair is. Yeah. <laughs> You could have ass pulled and said, "Oh, it's just an evolution of Ultimate Rage," but no, he didn't even want to give us that level. He just said, "It's him awakening the inner beast within." Oh my God, Toriyama! That's so stupid. Someone you get this man out of the kitchen and never let him cook. This is it, that brought me back to the interview he had with Ichiro Oda. And Oda kept asking him about Mercenary Tao, and Toriyama was like, who? Uh, huh? <laughs> who? 
that's not man that ain't even the weirdest oh i did had. i did remember that like, you remember that one interview he had about the Bardock special? Not the dumbass minus thing, but like original. the original Z Bardock special. He was all like, wow, that was a bit darker than what I usually write. If I handled it, it would have been way more lighthearted. Meanwhile, <laughs> Toriyam, you, you, do you forget what you've drawn and written? Yeah, I, I usually write very lighthearted stuff. You literally wrote a, about a lizard man that goes around genociding people. Trafficking their race. Hey, remember what? that panel you drew of Kid Goku kicking a person's head off? Oh, oh my god, oh yeah. Man, Kid Goku was so fucking savage like he did not give two flying craps like he has so much blood on his hands it is great i love kid goku he just genuinely <laughs> does not care about anyone's life like you mess with his friend he, he's not gonna beat you up he's gonna kill you yeah like he has I killed, mean... he killed like he killed like 98 percent of the red ribbon army killed i mean literally blew up and obliterated let that sink in well and he doesn't lose any sleep him. over it. Yep, he does not care at all. I kind of miss, I miss that for Goku when he was like, he was just a cold-blooded killing machine who didn't care. Uh, maybe that's then, why, and maybe that's man, why a lot of people Z, like and Goku. Then, and then Z Goku was all like, eh, I'll just cripple them for life. That's fine Here's too. A sense I mean... <laughs> oh my except that hey 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 except hey that. hey that's that. super that's super that's super goku not z goku hey, goku gave him the sensu <laughs> hey hey sal you want a sensu i'm trying to kill hey, you exactly I, I, I mean when you remove contacts from it then yeah it's really stupid but i, super, I mean goku. no i think it's still goku. stupid <laughs> I, I'm sorry, Star. I can't. Okay, but okay, but okay, okay, but okay, but hear me, hear me out on this. Hear me out on this. If he didn't give him that sensu bean, so oh, no immediately put his guard, put his guard up, and killed them all. So no, so I no, I get the end goal, but it's still chance. dumb. <laughs> <laughs> it was. It, it, been, it, was it risk. might have been. Hey, it might have been dumb, but it saved them. But all it was them. dumb. Hey, hey, sometimes the dumbest plans turn out to be the best ones. Yes. Goku regretted it when Piccolo started flaming him. <laughs> He's like, you worthless piece of shit. You are like one of those who are the fathers on the Mari show. Get your head out of your ass. And Goku's like, I'm not a dead beat. And, and Vegeta's laughing. You're no better. Oh, no, no. Let's not, not <laughs> Let's not bring him into this. Let's not bring in fa Vegeta and fatherhood into this. Oh yeah, I, <laughs> ever. Yeah, I would. But it's just weird well, because Super. Well, it's Super it's just, Vegeta. It's just weird because Super was like, "Oh yeah, Goku hasn't seen Goten and Gohan for like years or whatever because they've been off training." That's messed up. <laughs> it's like you don't even check it on your wife or or anything. It's like. You could just at least treat training like, like a daytime said, job. Like, I'll train for eight like hours. I said, and the rest like of my I family. Said, super no, just exists in a dimension there. where everything is like a fan based parody. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Jeff. Again. Right, da <laughs> right, like, down, right down to fucking the Vegeta t shirt lines and Goku just. Being whatever the hell fans think Goku is. I think he's a good character whenever he uses Ultra Instinct for some reason. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. You should have seen Shin. Shin was like, see, this is why I can't blame Boo for not thinking Goku's a good father. I was crazy. Yeah! Shin trying to light them up. It was funny. Was they were like, them up. Goku so badly. <laughs> he was. Gohan, he, he, his kids are so irrelevant to his life that Beerus forgot Gohan existed. <laughs> that's horrible. <laughs> that's that's, that's the crazy thing, though. That's the, that's the absolute crazy part to me, Jeff. 
he has met Gohan before in the manga. Twice. Yes, he's complimented him and acknowledged him as Goku's son. You've done well, spawn of Go Goku. Yeah, he's also felt a lot of his power and was impressed by it too, but now... Oh shit, he it does says, have a Honestly, it says more weird stuff about Beerus than Goku. Like, what the hell? This guy, guy helped s save you from being erased. Remember the stupid fucking Oompa Loompa looking kid was gonna oh, hurt me? Oh, wow. <laughs> that, that was that's crazy. That was definitely an Oompa Loompa. Well, not an Oompa Loompa, but like Doc rejected Doctor Seuss looking kid. Oh, speaking of Doctor Seuss, the Queen. <laughs> so no. Hello. Oh, you're playing with fire. <laughs> yes, I. But yeah, um, I'm really excited. That game looks phenomenal. Like Sparking Zero looks phenomenal. It People are like, yeah. you already a game. It's like okay, but your breath stinks. You have gold teeth. Shut up. You have gemvitis. Yeah. Well, anyways, that, let me enjoy my new, peak. That new trailer was. It was heat, yeah, dude. Was I am great. so excited. My only Man, one complaint shit. is that they're calling it Sparking Zero and not BT4. Oh, that's because that's the name yeah. of it in Japanese. Wait, the really? Second? Yeah. Man, the... Yeah, it's always been called, like, for example, it was called Sparking Meteorite 3, Budokan Gaiji 3. What the heck? I didn't. Yeah. Interesting. Isn't it? It's kind of weird. Yeah, isn't Man. it? Realization weird, dude. It is. It is. It Look, really, what? really, really is. It makes you think because, like, it's like, wait, what? It makes you think everything you know is a lie, you know? Yeah, because you've uh, like how Yakuza is actually good. called like a dragon. Yeah. Yeah. And that, then recently that, they that, adjusted. <laughs> it's funny. I don't like how localization is still screwing Pokemon fans over when it comes to the names of blue and green. That's still being debated mm. forever. The second he mispronounced Kaioken, I knew we were back. I knew we were back as soon as it's as soon as it just looked super like as soon as Goku punched Vegeta. <laughs> hey, what were you laughing I knew at? We were... So, like... And then when Vegeta punched Super Goku, I knew we were super, super, super ultra back, you know? My only fear is that the game will have the same voice direction that the DBS anime has. I yeah, cannot I'm stand oh. the voice oh. I can't stand the voice direction in the DBS anime. Especially in the on the dub. Yeah, it didn't sound great when I heard. Like, even the trailer, some things were kind of like, eh, we'll see. Like, I don't know. I feel like they were at their peak to Kai, the dub voice actors. Yeah, oh, fuck. absolutely. Oh, yeah, I'll even say, as much as I so hate good. Dragon Ball Z ROF, Sean Shemmel did a fantastic job of emulating the Zawa's, like, softness in his voice there. But for whatever reason, when we got super... That all disappeared, and I have no idea why. Ugh. They Boy, leaned that... way too much into the goofy voice. It's awful. <laughs> and then, like, some scenes had just a completely different tone for whatever reason. Ow, Lord Beerus! You, you pulled my ear off! Ow! I think That's the only... Crazy. I think the only scene in Super that kind of ruined my vibes in Japanese more than English when Goku did get mad about um Goku Black and Zamasu revealing that he killed their family. Yeah. And then and then as Goku was raging and doing all this cool shit, it just goes to <laughs> it, 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 it completely <laughs> It completely ruined the vibes. I, 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 that should not have happened. Yeah. Uh, the random, man, the random, man, the, ra 
Man, the random meme-worthy script changes really got me. Took, oh no, Doc took oh, me out. Yeah. I mean. I'm cheering, and I can't stand those dragons. That was hilarious. <laughs> what? The fuck? What is the context and of that? We, we don't. And then you had Go On just randomly getting angry. Hey, Go On, I have complete faith in your ability to lead us. Oh, gee, thanks, Dad. No pressure or anything. Ugh. That was so weird. Like, what the hell? Nah, the uh, meme, the Twitter meme lords were at that one. I think uh, the okay last one before we move on. There was the whole. There was one line that I do kind of like because it was a little funny, but still not really one that belonged in Dragon Ball. Hey, I'm Piccolo, the Grill Master. Do not interrupt the Grill Master. <laughs> oh, I Oh, I thought you were going to talk like about... like that, because I imagine Piccolo is a dork, deep down. Yeah. He has plushies for it, crying out loud. I thought you were going to mention the... Whoa! Forgot my tractor! Oh! <laughs> oh, yeah, that, that one was <laughs> yeah, actually yeah, that too. Yeah. yeah, I don't... I don't mind stuff like that, as long as it's, like... You know, funny. Yeah. Like, that genuinely felt like a Goku line. It did. Me back to that one filler episode on Snake Way where that lady's all like, Hey, let's play a Russian roulette. You just hold the gun to your head and if it lands on the bullet, then you lose. I I, I don't want to play that. So how about those pigs? Mm, that, 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 I know soccer. It, it, it sure was an episode about... Well, mostly Liko, because Roy knew the episode was gonna suck, so he limited his screen time. <laughs> he just didn't contribute. An episode of, like, it, it sure was an episode about Liko dealing with pigs. Oh, unfortunately. Like, the second, the duck, and that stupid, stupid, and stupid costume dot wares came into frame. I knew the episode was gonna suck. <laughs> Actually, you know, now that I think about it, in the preview, uh, both uh, both the uh, crocodiles and the uh, mouse uh, were grouped with uh, the pig. Yeah, well, Tinka Tink was completely separate. Hmm. Yeah, so the mouse, so it. so town of mouse or whatever might not actually be a capture. Damn, yeah, I got excited and thought we were about to skip the out. stupid pig. They are gonna freak freak out. Oh, we're skipping the pig episode? Good. Anyway, Roy Horizons mm. episode. Come on, no, hang out. on, hang on. Oh. <laughs> Jeff, what do you think of the pig episode? It was an episode. Jeff, oh, you nice. can be brutal. It's fine. We all hated it. Can be I mean, it honestly, like. it, it honestly felt my felt more like a lower tier X Y or Journeys episode. I mean, I wouldn't say all that. <laughs> I, I, never, I really did not <laughs> like that. Journeys traumatized Jeff. Yeah, I wouldn't yeah. compare it to a Journeys. I'd compare it. Well, like... mm, it was. I was watching it, and it was one of those experiences where I watched something, and I have a straight face. Most of the time, it wasn't. It wasn't offensive. I wasn't particularly offended. Jeff, but... Jeff, didn't you like it when the pigs used their fart gas to attract mates? Uh, I thought it was their tail gas. <laughs> and I that... mean that doesn't say, does, that doesn't sound any better, honestly. Yeah, I mean, mm, no, not really. Yeah, this this was definitely one of the honestly that I... honestly the characters of the day kind of got a little annoying. <laughs> hey, character of the day, female. It seems that you like me. I, mean, I don't like you. I mean, I'm character of the day. <laughs> Basically, very, very gently. Can I, can I, can I, can I, I was. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to do that anyway. Do that. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, oh. character of the day, girl. I might let you partner up with me if my pig likes your pig. I have a tattoo pig! My pig is your potato! I pigs! 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 I'm the character of the day female! <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> just, it's just an entire episode. Trying to hook up a pair of stupid pigs and a pair of stupid character of the days. Ironically, from what I've seen on Twitter, GT loved the girl but hated the guy. They thought the girl was the best part of the episode. Yeah, I already knew it. I already knew it. Oh my god. What? <laughs> Sorry. I, I, already, I already knew an episode featuring those stupid pigs would be me. Trying to make the most out of my soundboard. <laughs> Honestly, wild, I don't. I don't wild. really like. I didn't. I didn't really like either of them. Their designs were all right. Yeah, but they like, were okay. But like, man, those are some. It is a very. There are some very bog standard fucking unseasoned chicken like <laughs> anime if archetypes this, that I've ever seen. After, after if this, if. The if this is what Quackly episodes are gonna be like, I never want this duck to get another episode again. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Oh yeah, but this Yeah, you forgot that... it was a Quackly episode, didn't you, Jeff? Oh yeah. But this does confirm with a shadow of doubt that Quackly's for the straights. People are saying Quackly's evolution's for the gays. Nah, that thing is homophobic and likes girls. It was pulling all the girls, so thankfully, me and Indigo don't have to worry about Sprigatito mm -hmm. line. That can go to the straight. Even, People will not doing that. Yeah. And even if it is gay, it's it's a conservative gay. It's a conservative gay. I made that gay. joke first. Or did oh, I call it Republican? I don't remember if I called yeah. it a Republican Same or thing, conservative. Probably. Yeah. Okay, well, here's something original. It's libertarian. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. But yeah. That, the... This episode, even though we already knew it, confirmed that Fococo and Quaxley are guys and Sprigatito's a girl. I know people are freaking out when they found out Sprigatito was a girl. I was personally Why? just like, oh, neat. Why? And, uh, moved on. Because I guess they Literally. wanted it to be uh, because Sprigatito's quote-unquote more feminine, so it has to be a girl, even though it's like, a cat isn't really more feminine or whatever. I don't know. Right, a cat is hey. just a cat. If anything, if anything, there's a higher chance of it being a guy, so it's like, like, like uh, more out of the ordinary, but for a different reason. That's because it's not because its design is inherently feminine. Like, there's only ever been one time in the entire franchise where a Pokemon gender reveal has been in very important to the series, and that was the one Team Skull Grunt with the Salandit. Oh, I thought you were going to talk about Dragonite and Journeys becoming a jobber or just have the gender reveal happen at the same time. I don't think it was I don't think it was ever really revealed uh, other than like through like uh the sword and the promotion shield. material, yeah. Yeah, but outside of that Salandit moment, nothing. That Salandit moment was great though. Yeah, Salandit my Salandit is going to evolve at any moment now. That poor guy. He's just like me, full of delusional optimism. Hey, who knows? Maybe it's a transgender Salan, but... Maybe. Right. Oh, Jeff, we need to have a WWE podcast one of these days. And our predictions going to make it. Especially with all the stuff that's been happening lately. That's... For real? Oh, we got to talk about that after the podcast. That's crazy. That's oh insane. my gosh. Mm. Jesus Christ. Wait, wait, wait. wait. We, is it time for Roy Horizons now? Nah, yeah. yeah. I have one more thing to say oh. about the girl boss. I mean, not the girl boss, I'm the dude bro. I mean, the girl boss versus dude bro pig Pokemon episode. Make it quick, please. Well, oh, Coco like singing into the little air dryer was the cutest thing. Yeah, I thought it was. I thought it was just. I Honestly, I thought it was eating it. Or I guess it's doing both. Uh. I did not like I just eat it. Go, 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 what do you do? Just takes a bite of it. Well, guess we can't wash it. Like now. a like a dog playing with a sprinkler. <laughs> I did not like those OCs. 
Nobody yeah. did. They gave no, me well, too well, much. Let me, rephrase, let, me rephrase, let me rephrase that. Let me rephrase that. Nobody important did. Thank you. I was actually just thinking that. They gave me too many similar vibes to those fucking kids who who, who uh, created the Axe Who Gets Lost Part 2. Oh, no. Oh, no. All I, it's all I thought about when I looked at them. I was like, oh no. It'll be one of those episodes. <laughs> and it was! <laughs> fart oh, that. <laughs> oh, stupid pigs, man. So I made sure yeah. whenever I was playing Scarlet and Violet, uh -huh. I had my Lenny destroy them in the overworld. Oh my uh -huh. gosh, so that, was the, that was the same way. Whenever I saw one of those disgusting pig <laughs> winkers, I would send my Pokemon to obliterate them. Axe. I didn't, man. I I just ignored them. I didn't want to touch them. Gross looking. <laughs> You're like Vegeta when he saw his ribby ass. I just I couldn't touch it. It was so gross, so my hand just couldn't touch it. And I was like, Vegeta Ultra Instinct. <laughs> Wait, ironically, Vegeta with Ultra Instinct and Goku with Ultra Ego sounds cooler. Um. How about, oh. uh, I mean, I mean, you could do both. I mean, we could not have either. That would probably be better. <laughs> <laughs> True. Sorry, the pig episode made me space out what we were talking about. <laughs> oh, we, we incorporated some Dragon Ball nonsense into it. Oh, okay. So I didn't miss anything. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Roy Horizon's time? Yep. Roy Actually, Horizon's please, time! Please, yeah. Save me, Roy. <laughs> <laughs> thankfully, <laughs> thankfully, Roy did save me. <laughs> this episode was fucking way, way better than the fucking episode. Because you were episode. like, burned down the rise after that last episode. You're like, uh, I don't know if I can continue. You're like, okay, it's yeah. saved again. Yeah. Man, Roy just came in. Pushed Liko out the way and said, "Hey, hey, I gotta save the series." I'm the captain. I'm the captain now. <laughs> this you're making this. I'm the captain now. Where did that accent come from? Look at I me, Liko. Look at me. I'm the captain now. I guess it's more like uh, Roy pushing Dot out of the way. I Dot is the one who caused that episode know. to happen. God, I hate that stupid Gurman stuff so much. Well, hey, that, uh, that Gurman slash that was in the episode, so... <laughs> I didn't care okay, for okay, it okay, until Nico revealed it but in enough, an hour. But enough of that. It's time for Best Boy Roy. Man, man, can we just talk about this boy's artistic ability? That was a perfect picture of Rayquaza. <laughs> uh, Can we talk about some impressions of Rayquaza? Screech! There it is! Screech! 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 Boom! 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 Like that was scary. hilarious. Jesus, that was ew. I didn't realize until I watched the episode that Roy like wasn't angry or making an expression. He was just squinting because the sun, which honestly <laughs> kind of real. I know. I hate bright sun like that. I do the same thing if yeah. I don't have sunglasses. Yep. Yeah. Man, while our boy's training, Leiko's just all like, Wow, training? Could I be doing that? <laughs> nah, I'll just sit here. Wow, <laughs> training. Anyway. Spaghetti is like, I want to train. Leiko's like, no, you don't. We're reading a book. Poor <laughs> <laughs> Spaghetti, though. Uh, you know, it's moments like the, well, not just moments, but just whole episodes like this that make it harder and harder to believe that these two were remotely equal in terms of battle. I am I mean. not. I am not. Biased. Yeah. <laughs> no, bro. Look, bro, look, look at the move sets. That cat is starving, man. Wait. <laughs> and oh, not as battles. I mean, and Roy's been fighting all the strong it's... opponents, so obviously. And not only am I supposed to believe that they're on par with each other, but she's still given more battles than him. 
Well, her battles are given more priority than him. Well, I got the seal of approval really from Nemona. <laughs> Roy literally got the seal of approval from Nemona. Yeah. <laughs> Real. I need that to train with some gym leader soon. A some more that probably happen. We're ha we're having two episodes come on coming up soon, but we don't know what they're gonna be about. Ooh. Yeah, I, I'd Ooh. like some more of that Kabu stuff. Maybe oh, I got an idea! I, I got a good idea! I got a good idea, sorry. You know, I imagine can't... Roy... What stuff... Roy catches the little grasshopper Pokemon. Low kicks, huh? Yeah, low kicks, but the first form of it. Nimble? Oh, right. Nimble, yeah, thank nimble. you. Yeah, nimble, yeah. Yeah, imagine it, like, I can, cool. I can see that working with Roy. Oh my I gosh, could. I do that. I could. Oh my gosh. And then Liko, what's Liko gonna get while she's in Padea? Hmm. Um, uh... Oh, well, not Tinkerton, because that's going to Dot, apparently. If she does Which, I honestly, I'd rather have than it going to Liko. Yeah, that's Damn. a cute open up for Dot. I per I also with with Star I would have preferred it going to Roy, but you know, but I guess like, getting a fairy move is a compromise. Uh. I, but yeah, the Rico and Roy are just called into the meeting room. Is Freed's all like, "All right, guys, after our last escapade, views are down horrendously," and he glares at Dot, going, "Views." Yes, their view. Yes, their views. I wouldn't their mind Lico getting a Cyclozar. That'd be That'd pretty be interesting. Good. And free just glares at Dot. But, but it just it seemed like a good idea. Like it would get us a ton of views. C come on, it, it, come on, who's with me? Pigs, P pigs and ducks. N no one, no one's with me. So, anyway, after that, we need to increase our views. Roy, it's your turn. And Roy delivers us the best episode we've had in a while. I, honestly, the only way this episode could have gotten... could have been even better is if he actually caught one of them. That would have been no. cool. Yeah. He's gonna do something soon. But I guess, uh... But I guess Dot is the only one who's gonna get a capture. I also, hope Liko like... gets something. I hope Liko gets something because she doesn't get this week. People are gonna be freaking out. Bro, They're can we be... please... Bro, can she get a new move? That's what yeah. I want. But people oh. are like, I don't care yeah. about a new move. Give her that and a new move. I'm like, I know she's getting both. If anyone's getting a new move, I still think it's gonna be Hatina with Hill Pulse. Yeah. True. True, but I'm tired of hearing about Naruto think about from that it. cat. Molly is there in the episode. What does she specialize in? Healing. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. over. <laughs> yeah. She's Kodaha's. Kodaha! 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 You know what? God, she said it so. Like, no, she said it so yeah. many times that she's actually yeah. banned from that village. Yeah. 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 yeah I know Naruto people. I know. I guess it. people have tried comparing it, saying that it's the new Thunderbolt. No, it'd be like. No. no, no. It'd be like if they made. It'd be like if it was Thunderbolt, but instead it was just Thunder Shock. Uh, if they made Thunder Shock the, you know. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, it'd be it'd be like if we had to hear Fury Swipes every episode. Fury <laughs> Swipes. That's funny. Fury Swipes. Fury Swipes. <laughs> you know, nah, nah, nah. The delivery on Thunderbolt was so good. I could give it a pass. And it was also used sparingly. Yeah. Pikachu didn't always get wasn't yeah, always like the battle. Especially I could when look we forward got God Iron Tail. Well, except for one well, except I for one could, series. Like, <laughs> I could look forward to Ash just throwing out any yeah. Pokemon. Plus Thunder plus Thunderbolt is like an actually powerful move. It's like 
I know game stats don't necessarily apply, but it's like base ninety. Plus, it's yeah. also its, sign Plus it's also its signature move. So yeah. again, it gets a pass. And also, Ash had mo yeah. used more than well, had more than one mm. battle-ready Pokemon, mm. so he didn't have to worry about Pikachu. Wait, hey, wait a minute. Being used twenty-four-seven. Sprigatito's evolutions has a fucking signature move. What so, it? it's Flower Trick. Yeah, but we won't be seeing that for a while. Yeah. Talking about bro, Fumi Coco's move set already looks like gym battle ready. It like, does. Yeah. It's crazy. Flamethrower, stomping yeah. tantrum, the cover exactly. My boy has coverage for days. But but guys, we still gotta give Liko the most attention when battles happen. Okay, I, I hope that's weird. Swear to God, if if when the explorers do inevitably attack them again, they better not cut away from Roy. I hope not. That's just. I feel like I we think... should be. I feel like we should be past uh, battling the like lower rank lackeys. Yeah. I don't like, know. I feel like. Ready for... I don't know if they're ready for the admin yet, though. I guess not. That's why they should still start training with, still have, like, more, that's why I'm hoping we get gym leader battles soon, at least. Mm. Because, think about, whenever we go to Paudea or Galar or somewhere new, they always battle gym leaders, so I'm hoping. Maybe yeah. the, maybe they battle Kate or whatever. Who's another weak gym leader? Yeah, Katie. Who's another uh, weak gym leader? Adea. Uh, Brassius is the second one. Yeah, we already yeah. saw him. Yeah. Iono is the third one. Oh, yeah, we saw that. Yeah, that's already their friend. <laughs> and Larry. Larry's not going to be no jobber. Oh, hell no. Freebie that's like, a... Oh, he'd be like, Freebie be like, I could take on this lazy person. You I guess maybe. I guess maybe there's, uh... Fu. Well, there's Kofu. Kofu, yeah, but, like... Ooh, I could see Roy getting along with Rhyme. Yeah. Oh, Rhyme, oh, God, 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 Hey, I've God, already... God, God, I've God, already... God, God, Jeff, God. Jeff, uh, Jeff, I've already brought that up in a previous podcast. Don't steal my thunder. Did you? Did you? Yeah, yeah, I did. I'm pretty sure I did. Let's just pretend that I did. <laughs> this is crazy. This is crazy. <laughs> so I was like, no, Jeff ain't having that. It's mine. Mine, mine, mine. Um, okay, and this has been the Dynamax podcast. Wait, wait, wait. wait, wait. I, I, I got one. I got one. I got one. Rem Plus remember, guys. Remember, guys. Tip your Jeffs. And by tip, I mean push them over. <laughs>